Hello everybody, Miles the Farmman, and welcome to episode 8 of our Let's Play on Sandy Bay Farm. So, in today's episode, we have got a lot going on. Uh, we've, I have done field 24, uh, 28, tw 2, and field 8 is being seeded at the moment. But, we had a call from the neighbour, who lives just down the bottom of the lane, um, just down past... He, he owns field 32. Uh, he has got a tractor that he doesn't want anymore and would like to get rid of or scrap or do whatever. He says we would, he says we can come down and pull it out and take it if we want it or just get rid of it. So I've got the 5640 here ready with a tow chain on. Uh, and then once we've, once we're back, we're going to bed down the cows with the trusty Merlot and hopefully get some manure going. Because as you can see, they haven't actually got much. We might even feed them again. But we need to go down to the field. So this tow chain is on Monoster. It um, you attach it one end and then back up and then just press X to attach it to the tractor again. We but it does tend to drift you because it goes under the back wheels. So yeah, we had a call from him yesterday. He said. He's going to get rid of it. He doesn't want to go into farming anymore, so he's going to get rid of his tractor. I don't know what make or brand it is. I don't know what it is or anything. Come on, tow chain. Stop fucking me around. Now, I'm hoping this tractor has enough HP to pull it out, or a low, a low range box to get it out. But... That's how we had a call from him. So hopefully we can get it running. He says it doesn't work anymore because it's been sat for so long. But he says we can have it for free. So if we can get it out, we can have it. And we're going to drag it back up to the workshop. I don't know how we're going to get it in the workshop. We may have to just shunt it in. But that's what I mean by this tow chain. It does push you around quite a bit. Now I'm going to take the hood off. Not because I'm putting on four-wheel drive, just because it, it looks a bit better. Looks a bit more realistic. I'll hit the floor. And pull, pull away. So we've got the class Axion 950 harvest uh, planting canola in field 8 at the moment. Um, all the fields have been fertilised. None of them have. None of them haven't got any fertilizer on. Come on, tractor, climb this hill. This tow chain drags like hell. I remember there being a push pole version of it, and you could like. What's it? We did. We did used to have a push pole, and then we got some chain. But the chain seems to be more of a pain than the other one. Now he says he has opened the gate for us, so we can go straight on in. But I would like it if this tractor would stop doing this. I probably should have put it on a bigger tractor, or I shouldn't have just put. It, I should have just picked it up and put it on the, put it in the cab with me. But we're going to signal down here. Uh, so the field is here now. You may notice there's a little. Uh, she's just sticking out in that hedge over there. We will get out and have a quick look. So this is his field. This is his paddock, which we may come down and top for him. Because he doesn't want it. He doesn't want to go to farming anymore. But we're going to have a quick little look. Oh, that's what it is. So the climb for all the bramble. And it's a... Massey Ferguson 698. Oh dear. With loader on as well. It looks like it's been here for some time. <clears throat> so we're going to attempt to try and pull this out. He said he doesn't want anything for it, but... The cab looks in... Okay-ish, Nick. There's a bit of rust here and there. I mean, the panel looks a bit newish. He did say he had put some new parts in it, hoping to get it going. I don't know why he did the cab first, but... Frankly, I would have dragged it out. I don't know why he did it in there. But anyway, this water's cold. Hopefully it's Massey... Um, it is a Massey Ferguson. Well, hopefully this Ford will pull her out. If it doesn't get stuck all the time. We are going to have to cheat and put four-wheel drive on, which is a shame. I'm sorry, everyone. Now, hopefully this thing will hook up to it. I have no idea. If it won't, I'll have to go get a bigger tractor. But I'm hoping this will pull it out. 
And this tow chain is just literally picking me up. This tow chain was just pushing me across then. Uh, right, I reckon we're going to have to get quite far back. Come on. Come on. Well, I cannot see, so we need to go X. So has that released it? Uh, yes, it has. Right. Okay, this is a bit difficult to see. So we need to line ourselves up with the arse end of the Massey to get it actually on. But with this thing not wanting to... See, it just wants me to slide over. So I think I'm going to have to just go up the embankment like over here. See? Oh, I dislike this mod. <laughs> I did like the pole version better once that, when that was out in FS13. Because it doesn't do this. This chain is irritating as hell. Right, if we push it over there, let it swing us back. A little bit. We should nearly be in line. I think I know why it won't work, because the chain wants to slide around. Uh, if we get in the Massey, is there any way to touch the chain? No, there is not. This undergrowth is uh, very tense. Right, it's so the chainy bits there. So we need to come... Right. How are we going to do it? Now we can't pull it out forward because there's no way to get to it forward and we can't put the tow chain on the front of this. And I don't reckon we could get the tow chain onto the back of that one. Because that would be quite helpful if we, could, if we could get this tow chain on the back of that one and just invert it round so this one pulls on the other one. It would probably work a bit better. But the chain wants to slide down the hill which is the pain. He did say it was in a bit of an awkward spot, which, damn right, he's right about that. It is in a bloody awkward spot, but, come on, Gail. It's this uh, chain that's causing me all this problem. This thing's got no problem. Okay, that kind of pushed it. I think we're attached, are we? Are we attached? Where's the chain? Well, the chain seems to be going over here. I don't know whether it's attached to the tractor. Yes! Oh, free the Massey out! We, admittedly, yes, they wouldn't just slide like this, but it's farm sim, what are you going to do? Right, so now we're going to go proper, Jesus. <laughs> it needs some work. It wants a complete respray. I don't know if I'm going to do the body work up on it. I may just get it to run. But at least we've got her out. She's out of the uh, spot she's been sat in for so long. Yeah. So, we're going to give it a good tow back. It's even got lights on it. And wing mirrors haven't rusted away. Now, this could be a lot more... Tr Whoa, hello. <laughs> it wants to go home, really. It wants to get fixed. Alright, so we need to shut the gate for him. So, I'm hoping to get this Massey back down here. And get it doing some topping for him. I may do the paint work up on it, I may not. No, come on ground, do not glitch my chain out. Pull! Come on forward. 
and we are in the two wheel drive so it is not working four wheel anymore I had to use four wheel to get onto this tractor no, I don't want to pull too quick I know it's just flinging itself around flaylessly back there but that's the only way you can really get this mod to work come on come on oh god this hill's going to be a struggle for her I should probably really take it very slowly I don't want to go too quick and the Massey is next to us the Massey is right behind us <laughs> the Massey is in us <laughs> Right, so now we need to stop. Uh, no, I want to stop the Massey from sliding towards me. Right, now we're going to have to pull quite hard up this hill. Go! Admittedly, yes, talking properly now. The, in real life, the wheels would turn because it's not seized up on the wheels. It's, I made sure of that before I got in it. Before I even went... Well, when he rang me up, he said they weren't seized, but because this is farm sim and the way the game works, the wheels will be seized because it thinks it's an object. Come on, Ford, let's get her home. I can see this is going to be a project in a bit to get this thing bloody running. We may even have it running for next episode. It depends how hard I work. I'm not going to do the paint at work on it. Simply because I want to use it as a feeder slash scraper tractor. I know I, I, I know I've got this Ford, but um, and also someone said we should get a telehandler. This is our new, well, a loader tractor for us. So yeah, he uh, he said he don't want it anymore. So I thought we'd best go get it before he eBay's it or scraps it or. But she's uh, looking good. Well not looking too good but anyway we need to get it in the shed this is going to be the next challenge is getting it in that friggin shed I am going to just sell this chain afterwards because it's just a pain the, the back the back link looks alright but uh, yeah so everything else is okay she says on it the back PTO works links work arms work he, he says nothing seized on it though None of the engine is seized, it just will not fire. So I'm assuming it's a fuel problem. Or an injector problem. Come on, pull. But I think that's going to do for this episode anyway. So, next episode, which I'm going to record straight after this, will be... Well, let's just disconnect it first. Disconnect that chain and sell that chain because it's really goddamn annoying. So there she is. I mean, she's not in the original spot where I wanted it, but it, it's home. But I'm going to leave this episode here because I think, well, because I think that'll do for this episode anyway. So thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more today. And I shall see all of you in the next video. Happy farming. Bye bye.